Good morning and wel welcome to the GSM's Pride. It's Monday, it's uh, the day after the Super Bowl. I know I'm a week late on my posting of this, but uh, how about those Buccaneers last, year, last night? Um, obviously we live in Missouri, um, so uh, we wanted the Kansas City Chiefs to win, but you know, Tom Brady pulled it out of the hat. So uh, anyway, getting get on to work situation, heading in this morning. Um, got a really busy week, got plenty, plenty of things to uh, deal with this week. Uh, got first thing this morning, I've got a, uh, a manager that's been out for about 20 days, I think, um, with personal reasons. Um, so I'm going to obviously uh, sit down with him and make sure everything's good there, make sure he's uh, all set, ready to come back to the team and uh, get hit the ground running. And let's, uh, let's get him back up and running today. I've got uh, a um, meeting with the union on Wednesday. I have a meeting with the union on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow I've got to go uh, over to the uh, Lufthuse Mazda location. Um, and myself and two other GMs have uh, kind of taken it upon ourselves to uh, try and assist that store to uh, get back to some of its old glory days. So uh, we go over there um, once in a while and try and make sure that everything's running good. Um, they have a general manager over there, but he's also the variable director of the network, so he's kind of busy doing a lot of other things. So uh, we go over there and assist, <coughs> excuse me, uh, assist as much as we can to try and get them back up and running. Um, on Thursday, also, I think I've got a uh, uh, continuous improvement meeting with the with the team. Um, you know, if you don't do those, I would re highly recommend doing those as a group. Um, you know, at your dealerships because you know you, you get a lot of uh, good input pack from those guys. Um, a little tip though, if you do do them, make sure you follow through with some of the things that you, uh, you address during that meeting. But uh, I'll probably put a uh, time lapse of that up. Um, you know, I don't want to let you guys hear what we're talking about, but um, but yeah, we'll probably probably put a time lapse up of that. Um, that'll be Thursday. You've got uh, birthday lunches on Friday. Um, that's uh, something I do once a month with a birth. Uh, anyone that has a birthday in that month, I uh, well, I used to take them out to uh, to lunch, but unfortunately, obviously with COVID, uh, that's a little bit more difficult. So we just always lunch in for those specific people. Um, and other than that, we need to sell cars, sell service, and sell some parts. So. Uh, I won't be um, posting Saturday's video this week because um, I don't know. I hope my wife's okay with me mentioning this, but it's, we've been together 10 years on Saturday, so uh, we're going to go and do a couple of things together. So I'm actually not going to work on Saturday. Um, we've not been married 10 years, but we've been together 10 years. Actually, I have a funny story about that. She might be mad if I uh, post this, but. Uh, when we first officially started dating, the day before th uh, thanks, the, the, day, the day before uh, Valentine's Day, ten years ago, she actually had blues tickets, and uh, instead of doing something with me on Valentine's Day, she went down with one of her friends for the blues game. So, uh, start started the relationship was really meant to go on for now. It's uh, been been the uh, best ten years I've ever had, so I uh, really can't complain. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got a lot to do this week. Uh, try and uh, put as many videos as I can. I'm looking forward to Friday uh, when we post the uh, week one um, video. Um, the guy who does my editing sent it to me. I'm really pleased with it, really happy with it. I'm really excited about uh, posting it on YouTube and having uh, plenty of people subscribe to the channel. So don't forget, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Um, need those subscriptions so we can get this out there. Um, but all in all, like I said, going to be a really busy week um, and I will uh, be posting later on. Thanks. So change of plan this morning. Uh, was heading into Mazda uh, to go in there, check it on the, on the guys down there and uh, Snow apocalypse game. Uh, I say snow apocalypse, it's a couple of maybe an inch or so on the ground, but um, don't get me wrong, I've disclaimed this. I love St. Louis, I love the people here, but uh, it's, it seems anytime we have a little bit of precipitation, um, the next apocalypse comes and uh, my kids' schools got cancelled. Um, my wife's 
panicking about taking the car in for service. Uh, but, uh, it, it's cold and it's frozen, but uh, it's uh, the roads aren't that bad. Watch me go and get to an accident. Uh, uh, Shut everyone up, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, um, it's it's not too bad. But yeah, so we're gonna ch change a little bit of a plan. Um, a little disappointed because I really wanted to show you guys the Mazda store. Uh, the Mazda stores. Um, if you don't know, I, uh, I actually ran the uh, Mazda store for three years, um, and then uh, they moved me out to Ford, um, which was a better fit for me. But um, <clears throat> we were uh, when I left, we were actually mid renovation, and they've got a really nice facility um, in Creveport for our Mazda store. So I was going to show you around that place a little bit, but unfortunately. I'm not going there now, so um, that'll have to be another day. Uh, but I will, I will get down there and I'll, I'll show you. Um, so no big deal. But uh, so yeah, a bit of a change of plan heading in. Seeing how, how many people uh, make it to work on time today, and then we will uh, go from there. I think I'm going to try and get Brian Knowles in for, and do his uh, uh, employee spotlight today instead of tomorrow. Um, the good thing is. Doing this today gives me an extra day at the store that I can get some stuff done. So, as I told you, the, my week's really busy, but that, this will give me some chance to uh, get ahead of the curve. So, I will see you soon. So, here's one thing I'm going to tell you if you are an aspiring general manager or an aspiring sales manager, lead by example. Get out there with you guys and shovel some snow. And if you're overweight like me, you can lose some weight. Hey everyone, welcome to the GSM Pride. My name is Jason Catlin and this is Brian Knowles. It's that time of the week again, it's time for the employee spotlight. Now this one may drag on a little bit, Bijan the first guy was a young whippersnapper and Brian's been around for a little bit so it's going to be a little bit of a, a longer interview I'm sure. But um, I'm going to pass it over to Brian, he's going to tell, tell us a little bit about um, his childhood, his upbringing, his marriage, his kids and uh, how we're going to the car business. So oh, take it away. Uh, my name is Brian Knowles. I'm here at Lufus Ford. I'm the service and parts manager. Um, I've been here for about five and a half years now. I've been the service manager here for two and a half and the parts manager for a little over six months. Prior to that, um, I was at uh, a Kia location outside of the network. I um, was there for about seven years. And then before that, I was with Lou Fuse for 15 years at a Saturn dealership in St. Peter's. Um, started with Lou Fuse back in 93 um, as a service porter. Uh, really liked that. Moved in the shop for a short time um, and then ended up in the uh, service drive. I had an opportunity to move up there as a service advisor. Um, and that's what I did for the remaining time um, at Saturn. And that's what I continue to do at Kia and what I came here to do and before I moved into the position that I'm in now. Um, married, I'll be uh, 25 years uh, married this year, uh, this September. Two kids, both in college. I have a daughter that's a junior in college and a uh, son that's a freshman in college. Um, and that's about it. He's an avid pilot too. Yeah, so like uh, aviation, I have a pilot's license. Uh, we have a, a Cessna 172, um, Jason's been up in it. Yeah. Um, so we do that in our uh, spare time and uh, try to travel as much as possible. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen often enough, but. Uh, Especially with COVID, Brian's that's canceled, what, two trips now? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's canceled a lot of stuff for us. So. Let me ask you a couple of questions, Brian. Why, uh, why do you like working for Lufus? Um, I like working for Lufus. The best thing is the employees, the other people. Um, the team that uh, we have, every location I've been at, we've we've had a great team, um, and really, it's that's what it is. The second thing are the customers. Um, Lufus has been great on retaining customers. Those 
are really what uh, um, makes our day in and out. Um, so the combination of the employees and the customers. And then the third thing is just the family oriented um, atmosphere that Blue Fuse has in itself. It's family owned, um, they care. Um, they're very active with the employees and um, that makes a, a big part and, and all of that combined is really why I'm here. If, uh, if I could ask you this question, you can be totally honest. What do you like working for me? How do you like working for me? Um, I love working for you. I do. So um, we've been, how, it's been, I've well, been we've been here since 18. October 18 is when I came here. So um, for a little over two years now, um, and we've really grown and, and really built a good relationship. Um, we come from two completely different spectrums and I find the odd thing is, is oftentimes we think almost exactly parallel. That's kind of why I'm going to ask that question. Yeah, um, which is kind of odd to me that um, we both come from such different areas. You came from a completely different uh, upbringing and different part um, of the world and um, just our mentality and our thoughts are parallel often. So I find that interesting. Um, what What is it about Ford that you necessarily like or dislike? Um, when you're on the spot there. The, the yeah, to me, the <laughs> manufacturer is less important. Um, a car is a car. Um, the manufacturer is, you know, the manufacturer. What it really boils down to is what I back up on are the customers and the employees. Um, so those are really what makes a difference. The, the car is just a medium, and really it's just about the relationships that you build with employees and with the customers. Um, <clears throat> what got you in the car business in the first place? Um, I grew up um, with my dad bringing home salvaged vehicles and fixing them. Um, that's not what he did for a living. He was in aviation, um, but he would bring these vehicles home and I just had a fascination. Um, my original plan was not to do anything automotive. Um, I went to school for computer science um, and had planned on doing something computer oriented. And then um, I ended up at Lou Fuse the summer of 93, needed a job. And what did you do first when you were there? A porter. Um, and then once I got into that, I really, really liked it. And then uh, you know, here I've been. So how long have you been here in the business? Um, well, full time since 93, so however long that is. Um, in high school, I worked um, at auto dealers as porters. Um, so I started that back in 88 um, and did that part time through high school, full time during the summer, and then really um, 93. So was it 20? It'll be 28 what, years. Would you consider yourself a tinkerer? A what? A tinkerer. Like um, tinkering the cars. Yeah. Yep. You know why I'm asking that question? <laughs> because he has, uh, well, he had a Mazda truck that he actually somehow sold to one of our techs, which yeah. still baffles me. <laughs> and then he's also got, what is it, a Dodge Ram? Uh, yeah, 84 Dodge Ram, it's a low rider. And then we talk about Spectrums, you get a low rider Dodge Ram, that's an 84, and a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, I've always had a fascination with cars. Um, I've always liked working on them. Um, I've always bought and sold cars. Um, so at the beginning of my relationship with my wife, that was um, not something I think that she expected. Um, and then she's just, now it's just almost blinders on as far as stuff that I buy and sell and um, I, I just like doing that, I don't know. So if there's anything you'd like to say to the people at home, what would it be? Hmm. Um, Let me ask you this real quick before yeah. I jump on that question. Would you recommend people get in the car industry? Uh, it, that depends on, on the person. So um, the reason I ask that is a lot of stigma around that people say, oh, I don't want to get in the motor yeah. industry. There, you know, it's been very lucrative to me and I'm also yourselves. Yeah, there are people that have um, made long careers. Um, we just celebrated one of the parts guys that's been here for 30 years this January.
So it's very much a career oriented um, occupation. And then especially with Blue Fuse, there's tons of, of room to grow. Um, I'm a good example of that, as well as many employees that are here that have, have been with Blue Fuse for a long time and started at the bottom and have worked their way up. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I would recommend it. Yes. Okay, back to that final question. Do you have anything you want to say to people? Um, the only thing that I would want to say is kind of what I started with was um, about relationships and just in life in general, I think relationships are important that you have um, with yourself and with other people and with your family. Um, those are the things that are going to last um, through the longevity of your life. Any of the uh, monetary stuff will come and go. Um, the relationships will, will always remain. Well, I appreciate your time, Brian. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Brian was a little bit more lengthy on, on obviously history. He's been around a little bit longer. Um, as always, please subscribe. Subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Hit the follow follow button. Uh, we're posting these every single Friday. Um, and all, as always, in Lufus Ford, we can replace the car, but not the customer. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a FYI of things that we do over at Lufuse Ford. So once a month I do what's called a continuous improvement meeting. Why that's good for you as a manager or a general manager is it gets your guys, gives your guys a chance to give some feedback. So what we basically do is we have one or two members of each department in the store. Um, so we have a, you know, a couple of technicians, a parts guy, service rider. Um, myself is in there per their request, which I'll touch on in a second. Um, but uh, you know, a salesperson, um, a porter, office per people, clerical, um, receptionist, all that kind of stuff. And basically, what we do is we get them to be the spokesperson for each uh, department, and they bring up some ideas. At first, it's daunting as a as a manager because you think, oh, they're going to ask for coke machines and you know, free food every single day and all that kind of stuff. But actually, that's not necessarily the case. Um, most of the time, they actually come up with really good ideas and it's, re it's re really worked out well for us. But I want to give you a point. A point is, don't not do anything when it comes to making those uh, changes. No matter how big or small they are, you need to address them and make sure that you try and do everything you can to make sure that they happen because what will happen is if you don't do if you don't do some of the things they request you're gonna get they're gonna get burnt time let them not come in any, with any uh, any feedback uh, one thing we've, we've been doing it for probably a little over a year now um, and it's really worked out well for us is uh, morale is extremely high in the store and uh, and you'll see that um, we buy lunch for the guys that are in there and girls and we uh, have some fun and uh, and talk about some things that we can make and, and make changes with things that we're doing good and things that we're do, doing not so good so um, that's a, a really good tool for you guys to learn I'm going to put up a quick uh, time-lapse video of it shortly and uh, you'll see the interaction we have but um, it's all good going on there thanks Oh my goodness, it is extremely cold in St. Louis right now. It is freezing. I got my sunglasses on because it's so bright with the snow that I can't even barely see anything. So uh, I just wanted to get my uh, last uh, uh, video out before I left for the weekend. I'm off tomorrow, so uh, won't get won't get a chance. Um, I know I'm posting this next week, so uh, just wanted to uh, check in see what everyone's doing for valentine's day it's my 10 year anniversary with my wife this weekend um not married but uh, together so um the 13th so our valentine's day is always a little different but what i really want to talk to you guys about is this i know this is going to come up but it's going to come up relatively soon so i want to nip this in the bud early so everyone's going to ask me why the gsm is pride aren't you the general manager now oh well, yeah if you followed me in the past you'll know uh, that uh, I actually, when I was the general sales manager, I started the GSM's Pride um, and the GSM's Pride obviously stood for a couple of things. It stood for general sales manager, Pride being I'm proud of what I do 
and then pride also meaning that uh, I have a group a team that I consider my pride just like a line does so uh, that's why that's there but uh, the reason I didn't change it to the GM's pride um, was purely because I've been doing the GSM's pride for whew, quite a few years now three or four years maybe um, and uh, the amount of apparel and um, time and effort spent on logos and websites and all that kind of stuff I didn't think it was worth changing it so uh, that's the reason why I have the GSM's pride rather than the GM's pride so I hope that uh, clarifies some uh, questions out there but uh, I'm not going to change it because it's been uh, too long and I've got too much uh, time and um, blood sweat and tears uh, into uh, the GSM's pride at this point um, if you do want apparel hit me up on the comments or send me a message on Facebook or wherever you want to send me a uh, message because I do have uh, hats um, I do have uh, hand sanitizer believe it or not ready for the COVID I have a few, few, few things so I'm probably gonna do some uh, giveaways here um, soon uh, but not not on this video specifically but uh, now we've got things going uh, the first of my videos got posted today again guys I am a week behind because um, what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking videos throughout the week and then I'm posting it the, the, um, the following week on the Friday to make sure uh, that we get everything in and get it edited, edited up and get it posted so um, I really appreciate the uh, 26 subscribers I've got so far please keep them coming please keep the comments coming please drop them down there I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, act, uh, getting actively involved in with you guys and uh, I'm really looking forward to start building this brand and and then also uh, helping you guys where as and where you need the help so if there's anything you want me to specifically talk about um, it's in there tra training and we'll actually start some training next week uh, Ford come out with a new blue advantage program um, so I'm gonna do some training with the salespeople on Monday with that so I will uh, get that out there but I won't be posting a video tomorrow or oh, film with a video tomorrow sorry because uh, I'm actually uh, not going to be at work so I've got to spend some time with my wife so uh, that's really all i got right now and uh, we uh, I'll look forward to uh, seeing you all soon